And I'm not just saying that today because of him. I, I'm saying this, I say this often here. I'm proud to have been the first burial here as well. So, well, Wally served us proudly in the U.S. Army, so at this time I'm going to ask the ladies and gentlemen from the National Guard to come forward and give us military tribute, and then the um, Jerome Honor Guard will also give us a military tribute as well. So we'll begin with that.
concern and a great creation. Please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your loved ones on the day of Thank you. of the Jerome and Buell Honor Guard and a grateful nation, we would like to present to you and for your loved ones these three spent cartridges which represent honor, duty, and sacrifice. I'd like to thank the ladies and gentlemen who came out. These, this crew from Buell and Jerome is voluntary. They come out, the two younger gentlemen that, um, with the National Guard that pulled the flag, they drive from Boise to do these honors. And we greatly appreciate the sacrifice that them, Wally, and the other veterans in attendance today have given for our safety and security. Thank you. At well, this time, we're going to just have a, a small graveside dedication prayer. Wally and Kay will be placed this afternoon over in the niches. I don't know if you can see, but there's a, a gray niche plate by the flag that's removed, and that is where they'll be, about center, looks like the second row up. And you're welcome to come back after 4 o'clock. They'll be placed there. It does take a few weeks to get the engraving done. Their names will be on there along with Wally's rank, and I believe we'll see in love, loving grandma, or grandparents, mom and dad on the headstone. I know it'll say that, but did that. <laughs> so please join me in prayer. Father in heaven, again, we come to you with sadness in our hearts. As we are deeply going to miss Wally and Kay and the joy that they brought to the lives of their friends, family, and all of us. I ask your blessings on their niche. Keep it safe from harm and protect it from the earth elements. Make this cemetery a place of peace and solitude for those who come here to pay their respects and seek that comfort. And Lord, be with Chris and his family and the friends as they journey through their grief. Lift their hearts to encourage them that Wally and Kay are with you in your heavenly home. And guide us in our journey, Lord, so that we will head towards your direction. So that when our day comes, you will call for us and take us home to be with you as we know that Wally and Kay are today. These things we humbly ask for in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, again, on behalf of the entire family, along with the staff of Parks Funeral Home, I'd like to thank you for your attendance today and again encourage you as you leave today not to walk alone, but do carry those memories of Wally through with you and share them often. That way they will continue to live in your hearts and minds forever and always. Thank you again and go forth in peace with the love of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.